friends, we are doing a little DIY today, so I'm going to do a little tutorial for you, show you how to make it for yourself. It's going to be great. All right, friends, this DIY is super simple. It's a really easy project, really affordable, and it won't take us a ton of time. All you need is a type of frame that has either glass or plastic on the front. I just got this uh, five by seven from Ikea. It's like, I don't know, probably a dollar or something. Whatever you wanna use for the background or get a frame that is clear all the way through. And then depending, we're gonna test, I'm not sure which color I wanna use, either white pens or a black pen or Sharpie. And then you need something for tracing. So I'm gonna use my iPad. If you have um, a printout, you can use that as well. Whatever you have works. For me, I still am kind of deciding. I'm either gonna do just this plain monster leaf or I'm gonna do more of this large bundle of them. So to kind of get an idea, this isn't exactly what it'll look like, obviously, but I want this as well. I'm just gonna lay this over top of that and kind of give me a visual on the framing. So, I mean, that could be framed really nicely or this I would do a little bigger or that. I mean, that's really simple. I think also if this was smaller, I think I'm gonna do the bundle of them. I think that will look cool. Okay, so that's what I'm going to trace. And before um, we trace onto this, because this is what we'll be tracing on, we need to figure out if we're gonna do white or black. But I have extra paper, so I'm just gonna do a little test swatch. I haven't used these in a while, so let's see if they're working. Because my, I know it's just really small, but I'm just trying to figure out if it's too much white. And then the black. And I could, I guess I could do white and I could paint this frame black. Let's paint the frame. We'll paint the frame like a green color. The next thing we want to do is just make sure that we have the right size. Um, background so you can take the lining from your frame or whatever works and just mark the corners let me slide that over a little bit and we'll flip it the other way so don't worry about um if like you marked inside the section then we'll just cut this And then now I want to double check that this fits in the frame. Yep, that's perfect. So that fits great. All right, once you have that ready, you're gonna lay it onto your iPad or the piece of paper, whatever you're using. And then uh, we're gonna trace it directly onto the glass or plastic. Let me get this where I want it. I'm gonna tape it on. This way it's not moving when I'm doing it. And just make sure you tape it where you're not gonna be tracing. Once you have that, then you just start going along the picture and tracing it onto your um, plastic or glass.
So now you can see that I've traced over this whole image. So once you feel good about your tracing, make sure you don't touch it. You wanna, you know, let it dry, but you can lift it up from your paper or your iPad and you can see your tracing. Oh, this looks so cool. Awesome. Here, you can get kind of a better visual of it. Oh, I love that. If we actually do paint the frame, I don't wanna put this on yet, but I just wanna get an idea of what it would look like. So of course you wanna check and make sure it's dry before you start laying it on anything or like smearing it around. So we're gonna flip this. So our image will actually be reversed from how we had it. And I think that that looks really, really cool against the brown paper. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, let's see how it looks with the white frame because maybe we decide we like it and then we're done. Or you can paint the frame, but I wouldn't recommend putting this in here until after if um, you are gonna paint your frame or anything. I think I do like the white frame. I think I'm gonna leave it. The other cool thing is, you know, this is like a standard size frame, so I could always change the frame later to something different and just use this one for now. But in general, that's pretty much all there is to this DIY. Look how that turned out. Oh, so cool, so cool, so cool. I love it. This was super easy. It took us all of five minutes, probably. I already had everything in the house, so it didn't cost anything to make it. And I'm really excited to find it a new home. All right, friends, that is it for this video. This DIY was super fun, super easy, and I was able to make it with everything I already had in my home. So. I encourage people to try DIYs like that. Low investment, fun little projects. Try it for yourself, let me know how it goes, and stay tuned for more videos coming out soon. Thanks for watching, I'll talk to you then.